In this video, I am going to walk you through getting set up with your first iOS project using the Xamarin library. And I am building my iOS application in Windows on Visual Studio. So if you're following along with me with the same setup, this video assumes that you have already set up uh, Visual Studio and the Xamarin tools on your Windows machine. It also assumes that you have a Mac available on your network since iOS application development is possible through Xamarin Tools and Visual Studio, but the actual uh, testing and compilation and everything still has to be done on a Mac. So if you have a Mac on your network, you will have to have a couple of requirements installed on your Mac as well, like Xcode, uh, but you don't need a developer account. So if you have already completed those steps, then you're ready for this video. And as you can see, I'm in Visual Studio and I'm starting a new project. So you'll want to come down to your iOS section and we're going to select iPhone. And you'll see that there are several templates installed already. And so we're going to go for just a single view app. So already has a single view setup, but it won't have anything really going on for us. So I'm going to call this first iPhone app. Click OK and Visual Studio will get that project set up for you. And so you should see your Solution Explorer open. Lots of items in here to talk about. Uh, but first let's test our uh, connection to our Mac. Now if you don't get the prompt automatically, uh, there you can come up here to the toolbar and open the Mac agent. And so you can see here that I already have my Mac. It sees it on the network. It should pull the IP address and everything if you've got it set up OK. Uh, it, it should prompt you for credentials so you can log into that and it'll store that for you. So since I have already been through this process on my uh, Windows machine and I have my Mac already set up for testing, then it's just going to connect. So make sure we're connected. It should have connect grayed out, little uh, link here in the window. And if we're all good, then we can close. Okay, so we are ready to check out our uh, view that we have set up. And so this is over here in the Solution Explorer under main.storyboard. So go ahead and give that a double click so that opens. And this is kind of our main UI layout for this app, uh, which is just set up to have this one view. And it takes a little bit and it's going to sit here with this little loading bar and, and get itself set up. But once the project is open, we'll be ready to start making some changes. Now once your project comes up, the first thing you're going to want to do is change the view as. So up here on this toolbar, you can see view as. I'm going to go ahead and choose an iPhone 6. So that's going to adjust my UI layout to the iPhone 6. And if you wanted to change your iOS version, you can do that up here. I'm just going to leave that at the 9.3. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do on my UI is come over here to my toolbox, which if you don't have the toolbox, you can go to View and click on Toolbox. And I'm going to grab a label, and you just drag and drop it onto the UI over here. And I'm going to name this Hello Label right up here in the Name section of the Properties. If you want to go ahead and have some uh, text, in this case it just says label in it uh, to start with as default, we can just say hello user, right, and it will change that, and then we probably have to resize that a little bit so that it looks better. You can stretch that all out, center it up if you want to make it look a little nicer. Alright, let's grab a button, and I'm just going to show you how to create just like a quick user interaction here, kind of a little hello world app to get you started and so that we can name this hello button and then I'm just gonna make the text a click me and I'll resize my button so it's nice and big I'm gonna move it up here alright so I'm gonna make this label change when they click my button here Okay, so let's build some logic to our application. Go ahead and give that click me button a double click and it will create us basically a click event that we're used to seeing if you're similar with like Windows Forms applications. 
And here is where the real benefit of this Xamarin uh, kind of cross-platform studio is coming from. So what we're seeing here is a, is a C-sharp file, right? This view controller that works with this uh, view, that main storyboard, it is, is a C-sharp file. So while the uh, overall idea and layout might be a little different, uh, this is just a click event, and we can write regular C-sharp into this file the way that we're, we understand to write it uh, for any other application. So that's where the real beauty of this comes in, right? So it opens up iOS development for developers who already understand .NET languages who maybe don't want to get into learning Swift or just want to be able to have the comfort of doing this in Visual Studio. So just some little, a little bit of logic right here inside of this class. I'm just going to create a counter. Go ahead and set that up. And then down here in my click event, I want to change that label. So I named it hello label. And I'm going to change the text property, right? Where if you're already familiar with Windows Forms applications, then you, this already feels really similar. I'm just going to set up a, a string. So I'm going to do a string dot format to say you clicked me how many ever times. And then inside of here, I'll just increment that counter with each click. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and give this a run and make sure that it works and make sure that our simulator works. Now up here under the uh, device, you want to make sure that you're on the iPhone simulator, not the iPhone, or it's going to be trying to push this to a device, which unless you have one connected isn't going to work. So since I have this paired with my Mac, it's going to launch the iPhone emulator, which is part of Xcode, over on my Mac. So I'm going to turn on my webcam so you can see what this looks like. So when I click Run, it's going to go ahead and spin up the emulator. Uh, and this takes a little bit because it's, it's basically building the project, and then it's pushing it over to that Mac for debugging. So let me use my camera and I'll show you what this looks like. So here is my Mac, and you can see that the emulator is running. And it's running kind of large right now, so I get like this big view. So I can scroll through here, uh, and you can see that I've got a couple of different screens open. I've got Safari, right? So here are my uh, apps, and I've already have this is my first iPhone app and a couple of apps I've been playing with. So once Visual Studio gets done building this and pushing it over, we'll be able to see it and test it over here on the Mac in the emulator. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Sorry, I'm holding my webcam up to the screen over here. So you can see my app is loaded. There's our Hello User label. There's our Click Me button. And as I click it, that label gets updated and that counter increments. And so this is uh, basically what that emulator looks like over here on my screen. And I can test my app. And I don't need to use uh, any kind of device or I don't have a developer account or anything attached to my Mac. So this is an entirely free way to develop your applications. So that has just been an introduction to uh, writing your first iOS app using the Xamarin tools built into Xamarin Studio or uh, sorry Visual Studio. Uh, when you're done you can just come back over to Visual Studio and click stop debugging and that will take you back uh, to the editing section where you could write some code or do some more UI elements. So check out later videos as I walk you through making some more complex apps but hopefully 